everyone. How's everyone doing? We're coming by to hang out. Welcome to another stream. Feel free to grab your own sketchbooks. Hang out with us and draw.
Thanks, guys. But this is a original character that I'm working on. A series of characters I've been working on during this live stream. Yeah, I'm just working on shading right now. Shading like all these like three characters. Yeah, um, just feel free to hang out, um, get a coffee, home, or anywhere. Just hang out and draw with us. Feel free to start a conversation, chat, ask questions if you want. As they are appropriate questions, I'll answer them. She was really fun to work on. Last champion I got to work on. Poor Gwen was Vi, which was designed a while ago. I think in 2013 or something. Mechanize that I need to start back again. I don't know why I have stopped creating any fan art. I mean, art for Mechanizer. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I get, um, my interest changes too frequently, which is not a good thing. I need to really uh, commit and really flesh things out. about how to manage the details. Uh, 
Yeah, it's possible. Yeah, that that is pretty common mistake to over detail, overdo things. Um, not just detail, but even rendering. Uh, sometimes you can just overdo everything. And zooming out, I think that is the main thing. You should keep my uh, keep your eyes on. Yeah, make sure level of complexity is balanced throughout the characters. There's enough area of rest and nice flow to the design. Um, so there should be nice contrast of different shapes, different sizes um, of the designs and graphical shapes. That's good way to simplify things and keep the flow of the, the, the costume and the character overall design, right? Um, yeah, a common mistake is like you tunnel vision in one area and start to des just detail so much and it becomes a noise. And good rule of thumb is um, make sure high detail is low contrast and, and not high detail is high contrast. So if you're drawing like a chain mail and each, each uh, chain is like probably like blown out over overblown like white color with uh, black like you know circles and within the ring and there's a lot of negative space and you zoom out look at that in high quantity of number um, of chains that becomes uh, you know very noisy becomes flickery and you know that is um, way too much so uh, if that's the case, you want to uh, reduce the number of chains, exaggerate the size of the chains, and also lower the contrast of the chain. Make it less dark and make it less light. So, but enough that you can you can tell it is a chain mail. So that's that's kind of the you know, things to keep in mind and also want to make sure there is a balance the whole thing. You zoom out and look at it and make sure that you're um, you're guiding the eyes to the right areas. You're using the, the contrast of detail and the area of rest to lure the viewer's eyes to um, the important areas of the characters. Um, usually they're, you know, the faces of the characters that those are the main focal points. It's, um, that's where you see the emotions of the character, the iconic parts of the characters. Also, you know, source of power is another thing. So, yeah. So if you have those in, in mind and you know how to identify and how to balance Do squint test, blur your eyes um, while zoomed out, see where the issue is. Sometimes you tunnel vision and you just zoom in and just work on one thing and overdo it while the rest of the uh, parts of the characters are too simple. So that's when it just looks off and the design looks weak.
feel free to work on your own art. Thanks, Tokyo. Thank you. Dropping by. Free to ask any questions you guys have or just hang out Draw alongside with me. skins or champs I designed um, I, I like working on um, Star Guardian KDA champions yeah Gwen is definitely one of my favorites Ari I worked on her when I you know before I joined Riot also worked on her sort of redesign for the new dawn friend Amir was pretty fun came like a life-size statue very statue when was good Corsair skin line was really fun. They're like a pirate theme. Corsair Quinn was cool.
Do you guys have favorite champions or skins? You guys like the new uh, uh, Rune King campaign? King event? So Arcade Ribbon was pretty fun to work on. Looking a lot of like retro inspirations, retro gaming. Textures, I really create textures. I, I mean, I mostly paint everything with this one brush. But if you're talking about like texture brush and looking flat, there might not be enough like rest of value. You know, form indicating indicated by the contrast of value. You do it too conservatively. Uh, darks or lights? Yeah, it will look pretty flat. Yeah, if it's like a texture or a pattern, yeah, you want to also convey the, the sense of form, three-dimensional form. Have like the pattern warp form, like wrap around the form of the object. This ribbon, um, yeah, I'm sure it's dark towards the uh, terminator where the border between the light and dark well, towards the edges but i mean this is mostly two tone value that's what i like to keep it like more like uh, light and dark very simple level of the values I will do is like use smudge brush and or maybe I'll just keep it this way painting metal yeah mostly like you know lots of contrast and metal yeah, metals have a lot of contrasting light and dark values. And yeah, if you take a look at some metallic references, yeah, you'll see light, extreme lights and darks. Or some, yeah, best thing is like, some still life studies off of you can do it off photo but i'm sure there's plenty of references like real life references that you can grab household yeah 
yeah, I thought about a lot while doing art book. How much that I'm at this point, I don't know how to manage my time really well. So I have full time job, so I have to prioritize that first. Thank you, that means a lot. I'll try to stream as consistently as possible. Yeah, it's mainly to show you guys like what I do. Work. And also getting a chance to hang out and interact with you guys. I feel like Let's try to interact on social media. Get social media platforms, but I realize it's best to interact on stream. You know, get a chance to share some some of my learnings. Working in the industry for a while. Also, I want I want to kind of establish this like cafe kind of hangout vibe. Not gonna be like super ace. Let's be kind of a chill. to just hang out and just draw. So, can it motivates me to draw for a longer period of time. Get more focused. I don't. I don't think I've gone as distracted the past few days of streaming. So I'm just focused on what I'm trying to show, what, what I'm trying to share. So yeah, normally if I if I weren't you know streaming, I'd be watching like YouTube videos, like those quick 15 minute videos. After watching one, I would just like keep refreshing the record page to get a jackpot on what I'm interested in watching. Definitely addicted to that YouTube. Better. This is more. Well, it's a lot more relaxing. To socialize with you guys. Longer to take to, to not using the pen. I started using my finger. Star Guardian team came out. The I was working on the Star Guardian album cover with Jinx and Lux lying down. It's so, one of the first time I used Procreate. Pro 
procreate a lot more features. Yeah, pretty much I, I won't I paint with my finger only. And mainly use Procreate to do everything nowadays. My full time work. All the Gwen artwork that you see on our station are completely done on here. really have reason to use Photoshop anymore. Though there are a lot of uh, features that I would love to have Procreate, but Procreate already has enough that I... enough for me to create things uh, sufficiently. Yeah, it's all good. As long as I can draw for a long time, that's, that's what I need. I, I, I'll do what I can. Of my toe, nose, or something. Oh, yeah, canvas size and layer limitation size. Oh, yeah, I used to have that. It's still, yeah, I'm not, I don't have that technical background to understand. I'm sure they're trying to figure things out. That's why I got this new iPad Pro 2021 this year. And this one is equipped with the M1. It's a lot faster. Like I, I did a direct comparison opening some files and loading up big changes it's a lot quicker than the 2021 uh 20 uh the last last year's model so the one terabyte storage does help with um increasing amount, the amount of layers that i can have at a higher size canvas but yeah that was um, I had to be creative to work around those challenges, so... And also, it, it forced me to... Like, use less layers, like, rely on less layers and just... That made me use less of, like, special layer types. And I had to, like, merge the layers and simplify them uh, very uh, constantly. Mary Kondo, a lot of things. Before um, on Photoshop, I would have like hundreds of layers. But now, you know, with that kind of challenges and limitations, it, it sort of helped me in the long run. Be more um, efficient. Less reliant on number of layers. Yes, uh, let me go through some other questions that I might have missed. Thanks for joining now. Again, these are shadow or stealth live streams such announcements i made an announcement on discord and also twitter but not instagram or facebook 
but yeah, it's to kind of, it's a casual type of live stream. It's not meant super planned out and retaining with lots of humor or anything like that or high energy. It's, it's for us to wind down for the day, enjoy the rest of the night, draw some personal stuff. If you have something urgent thing to take care of, uh, like, yeah, don't worry about it. Take care of that. If you have other plans for tonight, just um, stopping by so, uh, means a lot already. So but if you're in the mood of drawing, having a company, we just stick around and thus. I used a smudge brush, but it is just the default soft brush. Yeah, it's it's great. But you know, you can use any other brush that you like. Sometimes I even use the brush pen that I, I've been using to paint here. It really doesn't matter. Like uh I think the key is you can adapt and be creative. And it is healthy to switch things up things new and that that actually makes things fun What's up, Mark? Um, ZBrush, I'd love to I actually download a program. I don't know the name of it, but I bought it. It is kind of like a ZBrush. It's like, you know, Procreate to Photoshop. This would be a uh, ZBrush for the iPad. And it looks pretty nice. I, I haven't had a chance to Uh, I definitely want to learn how to do ZBrush and my, you know, my sister is interning at Riot right now. She's, she's a 3D modeler, 3D character artist. If any help learning that, I can just go to her. To create my own character. Also, I want to learn how to use uh, the Blender. Very powerful program, Blender. Some like beautiful scenes and use that to maybe set up some scenes for me to render out and um, possibly bring it over to photo, uh, Procreate and paint over it. So maybe have some animated, like interactive artwork. And that's more of a long-term dream that I have right now. I need to figure out how to manage my time. I just want to do streaming, so I don't know how I'm gonna work that out. I'll figure it out. to just quickly set up some angles and just paint it over it. Yeah, I should do that more. So, 
yeah, see you some like figuring opposable figures. Set up some interesting shots. Time is the real clutch here, I guess. Yeah, right now I'm just focusing on shading and on the multiply layer. That's the alpha lock, so I'm only painting on what's visible on the layer. I turn this into just that's what it looks like. It's just white with one tone of color that I use to shade. And it's okay, it's it's kind of monochromatic right now, but that will be all fixed up. So I do post processing. That'll look good. But that's what I'm just focusing on right now. Um, on all the characters. I want to make more characters, but I realize this is taking longer than I thought. Hopefully, I can get all the characters done by next week. Really, no deadline, but it's, I'm just trying to set some deadline for myself. Other personal things that I want to get to, personal projects. Did I watch any anime recently? No, actually, I haven't been watching a lot of anime. Um, no, actually, back, I've been sort of watching the Demon Slayer. Still need to catch up. A 
Also, I need to catch up on Attack on Titan. I only watched season one. Years ago. I remember I took my wisdom out. I was in a lot of pain. On pain. Took a few days off from work. A lot of ice cream, mashed potatoes, and just binge binge watching Attack on Titan. Slayer is good so far. Yeah, one last question before you go to sleep. How often do I personally recommend practicing our fundamentals, anatomy studies, etc.? Um, yeah, thanks for asking that question. Um, I do, I do recommend, yeah, Ness. Not skipping the fun fundamentals. Um, you can, you can still do like fun stuff and you know do personal art and arts of characters, but also like you can also focus on the fundamentals, like doing fan arts. So if you're doing anatomy, like anatomy um, study, like you can. Yeah, look at some figure drawing, like photos, and try to yeah, do master copies of it or figure drawing, like quick gestural figure drawings. Yeah, my my number one advice to give is like, yeah, show a lot of enthusiasm towards working on fundamentals. I know it can be really grindy, it's like doing those boring uh, workouts at gym in order to get that nice result it takes a lot of re repetition and redundant, uh, you know, exercises. Yeah, same thing. I would say, yeah, show a lot of enthusiasm and passion and have that obsession to work on those fundamentals, anatomy, drawing, dynamic sketchings, and perspective, and all that. Once you do that, you'll see big changes. Yeah, I would recommend like dynamic sketching, uh, like Peter Hahn stuff. I think that's, I realize that's super important. And once you get really good at it, like pour a lot of energy and effort into it, and time, most importantly, you'll see the big difference, big jump in your skills. Um, start to learn how to draw things three dimensionally, 2D, pen and brushes. So It'll really change the way you think about art. Skip those. Master those and we're moving on to the fun, fun stuff. Yep. Convince yourself that the fun fundamentals are really fun. It takes discipline, I guess. What is my opinion on tracing from ref reference? I think it's great. You just make sure that um, you're not taking full credit. 
you don't take credit, you want to make sure you're crediting, giving credit to the original photographer or model or artist. If you're doing master copy of an artwork, you know, show a side by side and say, oh, this, this was a great master copy in the description or put it on the art itself oh have yeah have a good etiquette you know don't be uh as long as you're not just taking it and saying oh i did it all i'm amazing i did it without reference it looks just like that photograph that people find on it then yeah that's not good etiquette Um, but I highly recommend it, especially if you're teaching yourself. You can't really go to a figure drawing session and looking at models. There are websites where you can do that, like, but you know, it's like a slideshow, a bunch of photos of models. They have it timed. Can definitely Google that, it should pop up. Study from references all all the time. Don't ever try to guess. Especially if you're newer and you don't have that much visual library. Yeah, artists like almost half the time we're always observing and learning, taking in visual information. We're never assumptions and yes and we're always like searching and studying, analyzing what we see. It's great to learn from references. If you don't understand how to do certain things, how metal we render, there are so many references to uh, look, look at some metallic material that are on your desk. Pinterest is great. Any of like inspirational references on there. Yeah, have a good night. Uh, get, get a lot of rest and yeah, feel free to join us anytime. Mark, I, I didn't know you watch anime. Oh, you watched all the Attack on Titan. Yeah, Mark here... He, he used to work with me at Riot. Worked on Star Guardian, Soraka VFX, along with many other VFX, uh, with the great VFX that you see in game. Yeah. He was also my DM for D and D sessions. First D and D sessions that I had uh, was uh, in his world. Super fun really miss that. It's one of the things that I miss while working in the studio. But to have those like after after work kind of activities. A lot of our lives changed since uh, the pandemic happened. Well we adapt why I stream and try to hang out. Bless all the DMs. Oh, hey, Solus. Doing well. If you're doing well as well. As well. Well, well, as well. How do you collaborations? How is the work idea split? Um, for collaborative work, I haven't done that many, but I have done uh, 
recently I sold an NFT yesterday. Uh, it's yeah, I collaborated with Holden. Um, he uh, it should be on my like art post, like link to Twitter and stuff. But yeah, um, agreed to split a certain amount. He animated my character, my uh, box girl, like portrait, Japanese inspired, like samurai and kimono. She's like in this fog, like snowy uh, forest, uh, gray type of cinematic background. With uh, like cold breath coming out of her mouth as, as she's like like alive and breathing in the animation and yeah that was was just sold yesterday. We'll be splitting the earnings with him. Maybe we'll do more collaborative uh, stuff in the future. I think that's gonna be more like common as NFT just booms. More like efficient NFT platforms pop up with less gas fees and uh, more environmentally uh, friendly and all that. More artists will jump on, jump in, and a lot of there will be more collectors. It'll be a really cool opportunity for creatives to collaborate together. Maybe more than just what we've been seeing for the past few decades. Music, animation, yeah, effects as well. Right now I'm just shading and adding, just gradually adding. I'm not trying to do it as quickly as possible. I'm just like autopilot mode as I'm talking. Any games I'm playing, it's mostly for, you know, I've been exercising every day uh, to give kind of a background. I, I sort of have a health anxiety. It just randomly happened one time. I think I was like super uh, stressed out at one point. At right, I had a panic attack, and ever since, I just couldn't. I, I didn't want to feel like fast heart rate in my chest. I also have a little bit of heart palpitation, so my heart would skip a beat. Um, it's very common, but I guess pe very sensitive. And I became very sensitive to, to that kind of sensation. So I would just freak out whenever my heart would skip a beat or it starts to beat fast because I'm nervous or I did some exercise. But recently, I think I sort of overcame that because I started playing like I have VR, like HTC Vive Pro. I've been using that for a while. I didn't use um, ever since uh, Half-Life Alex came out done with that I kind of put it away didn't play that much but recently I I guess two months ago I started just playing boxing game because I heard about it on Joe Rogan podcast that oh the, this VR game is great as uh, a lot of his friends I think uh, wrong but apparently there are some professional boxers playing the thrill of the fight Production value isn't like super high. It's kind of janky. Looks kind of PlayStation 3 type of graphics too. But the mechanic is very good. And I've been playing that. And also Pistol Whip. It's kind of like a John Wick slash um, super hot. Also some uh, Beat Saber. But yeah, I've been 
been able to get my heart rate up really high, but because I'm playing a game and I'm so focused on sparring, like these AI characters, I just forget about it. I'm just have my heart rate, heart rate up and I'm sweating like mad. Um, I've been able to do that and I got a Fitbit watch and tracking time of my exercise and my heart rate, also the calorie that I'm losing. So yeah, consistently every day I've been trying to lose like 500 calories per session out for about an hour or an hour and a half feels great you know, I'm having less palpitation and I'm, I'm feeling less anxious as well um, but yeah that's pretty much like the games I've been playing like mostly VR games to do get some exercises done trying to cancel the bad things happening while I while I sit here for hours and draw think about how to prolong my, um, my lifespan. A lot of people have things that they're struggling, trying to overcome. Yeah, that's, that's also kind of the stuff that I would like to share. I'm sure there's, I know a lot, I know like anxiety is pretty common. Struggle. some like 15 minute breaks per hour just don't mind that uh, yeah feel free to stick around grab something to eat or drink come back in uh, about 15 minutes let's resume and pick up where I left off <laughs> 